Hey everyone, this is Dean with DCA Crypto. Going to jump into Bitcoin and the crypto cycle here and what's going to happen here over the next year. So I'd appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, smash that like button, and let's jump into it. All right, today we're going to dive into some new charts for Bitcoin and crypto. Show you why I don't think we had the actual bull run yet and hopefully that we're going to go into a bigger bull run at the end of this year and into 2025. So let's jump into it. So I'm just going to cover Bitcoin real quick here. I just want to keep you know tabs on this. We are still in this channel here. Nothing's changed on that. Uh, we did get kind of rejected off the 65,000 level here. But as you can see, you know, some parts here where you know we got rejected at certain levels came down and then came up higher so we could still come back up here and uh you know maybe we get rejected off this line and come back down slowly we'll have to see what happens with that but i i expect us to kind of play this out here for a little bit longer yet because you know i don't think it's going to be it's going to be a few weeks or so before they actually announce if they're going to lower the interest rates the fed or, or not so We'll keep an eye on this over the course of the next month here. I'm going to show you some other things here in just a minute as well. So if you look at Google Trends here, this is Google Trends for the last five years. Uh, back in 2019, this was the highest interest for Bitcoin here back in 2019. Uh, we had a big pump in the price in the middle of that uh, bear cycle here before the halving of 2020 where Bitcoin went you know, from like $2,000 all the way up to like 16000 and then it had a big correction down after it lost interest. And then this was the last bull run here. You know, we got all the way up into, you know, like the 70 to 75 zone. And then towards the end of the bull run here, we broke through that 75 level area here with the, this is worldwide search for Bitcoin. So as you can see, this is, this is, this, last bull cycle here we had earlier this year in march and you know you can see we never got up to these levels or even close to these levels of 2019 so you know that's another sign that the interest just isn't there right now we never really got retail interest in uh crypto or bitcoin here if we go to searches for crypto um as you can see in 2019 there really was nothing for crypto it was all bitcoin back then and then in, this was 2021 we got all the way up to 100 here and even in late 2021 we got up to like 80 or so uh, at the peak of that bull run but this is where things were really bullish early on in 2021 uh so you can see the searches just soared in 2021 until may when we had that crash in may and then we had that big crash down the summer of 2021 and then towards the end of the year we came back up but as you can see here the interest in crypto this year uh, is you know nothing compared to this so you know people are just not searching for crypto so i don't think the bull run has started yet i think you know looking at this interest it's very low compared to where it should be if we were in a true bull run it never felt like a true bull run to me so this is just another indicator that i'm looking at to see you know where we're at and you can do you know worldwide or you can do united states it really really is all about the same uh so it really doesn't matter too much what, what you're looking at but it's all pretty similar if we go to the united states here it's going to be very similar as well so you know not a whole lot of interest in crypto over the last few years really since the last bull run it's been very minimal so that's a good sign that the bull run hasn't come yet it's not a guaranteed sign of course um you know it means there's no interest but to me, at some point, I think we'll get that interest and, you know, hopefully break up into these higher levels in the search interest with crypto. And then if we look at the Bitcoin rainbow chart here, this looks very similar to 2019 here, uh, where we were in the middle of that bear cycle here. Yes, this was before the halving. Um, so, you know, it got kind of a late, um, I guess you could say a late pump compared to the, that last bear cycle usually get a pump before the halving this time we got it before the halving but you know right before the halving now we're having a little bit of a cool off so we could come and cool off a little bit more if you go to the monthly bitcoin returns chart here september is a very red month so uh but if we look at 2020 that's four years ago you know we had a green august by you know a little over 
two almost three percent here and then we went into the negative you know seven and a half percent for September uh, we've already had a red August so far but we haven't closed on the month yet it, you know it still could close in the green potentially we're only two percent off from closing two and a half percent off and closing in the green really um, but you know we could potentially expect a red September we're not guaranteed of course um, but you know it'd be very similar to what happened in 2019 and 2020 uh, 2019 especially but you know I would expect a red September potentially but you know things could turn green by the end of September yet and put it in the positive just really all depends on what happens with the Fed interest rates and you know how that goes as well so if you look at this chart here this um, chart is the global liquidity cycle um, you know it typically when the liquidity is going up you know we have you know basically bull runs in crypto when the liquidity gets higher this was the 2008 global financial crisis so this you know you got to kind of ignore because there was a financial crisis here but um, you know this is the liquidity and you know if you follow the Bitcoin charts and that the liquidity going up Bitcoin typically does really well as you can see here um, 2020 you know into 2021 is right when this peaked out and that's when bitcoin peaked out it was in 2021 and then uh you know they started increasing interest rates and lowering the liquidity in the market and that's when we had the big crash into 2022 and now we're starting to come back up again so potentially you know we'll have more liquidity in the market and hopefully that'll help out with this bull run here so that's pretty much what i wanted to cover in this video guys just wanted to give you another outlook on why i think the bull run hasn't happened yet but obviously i don't have a crystal ball so we don't know for sure just going off and you know past indicators that could help guide us as to where we're at in this cycle as of right now i'm still you know playing things out as if i'm planning for a bull run to come here at the end of this year and into 2025 hopefully that is the case hopefully people start going into more riskier assets once the fed starts lowering interest rates like things have been done in the past and with more liquidity coming into the cycle here. So hopefully that plays out. But that's pretty much what I got for this video, guys. If you're also interested in finding out more about trading and how to trade like the professionals, you can join my free Telegram. The link for that is in the description below. And from there, we can get you set up into the, the uh, free trading with CoinW that we've partnered with. They've got professional traders set up in the Telegram group just for us. Uh, where you can learn how to trade and, and copy trade the professionals out there that are very successful in uh, crypto trading just remember to you know if you do decide to do that to be careful with the leverage if you're using leverage at all uh, not to go too crazy with that because the more leverage you use the more risk you're using so you know definitely want to keep that in mind but if that's something you're interested in learning how to do you can join my telegram or if you just want to chat with the community and learn about what cryptos we're buying and selling in there uh, you can join that telegram is as well for free like i said the link for that will be in the description below and if you're interested in joining my discord that is through patreon uh you know i share all of my personal trades in there and uh, we do get uh you know we have invested into a lot of projects early through my discord if that's something you're interested in doing uh, that is through patreon the link will be in the description below as well that's pretty much what i got for this video guys if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button Hit that like button, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm, and we'll see you on the next video.